Hey guys, I'm Shark <coughs> back showing you <laughs> how you can pop off in every single one of your games playing the one and only Anivia Mid Burst Mage Assassin. So, like usual, guys, if you enjoy, find it helpful. Make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes we took. Electrocute, cheap shot, eyeball. <coughs> oh. <coughs> collection ingenuous hunter which can be switched out for treasure hunter or relentless hunter your preference metaphor band scorch can be switched out for presence of mind and cope to grace your preference those are the rune stats there and in this lane we're playing against Ari, pretty medium difficulty matchup so misconception people think anivia is like a control utility mage which i mean technically she is with her ulti and wall but on top of that what comes with it is she is uh Oh man, I think I kind of landed the tip of that Q there. She's a burst mage. Hands down, at level 2, level 3, she becomes an assassin. Land 1 Q into E and... Uh... Okay, it could just be one auto there, so that way she can't trade back. Land 2 Qs and they're in kill range. Level 2. Auto E. Auto attack ignite. One more auto to do the trick, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, people underestimate Anivia's damage in the early game. You can cheese them every time. You're always going to have that advantage within the early game. And so basically every lane, melee or range, you're just going to do really well into. For the first uh, three levels. And the wave is going to bounce back out to us. We can recall. We have to really be careful about Shaco, though. Come on, crash under the tower. Thank you. Shaco jungle. Very scary. Can gank us at any moment. Yes. What? Am I recording? I am. Nice. So we just want to... Well... I do want the wave to come out to us, reason being. I don't want to get ganked by Shaco. We can pressure the Ari whenever she steps up like that, but I do want the wave on my side. I think I have to crash it one more time. I have to crash it one more time so that way it comes out. And it will take a while. It's one gank by the Shaco, and I think it's just over. I'm going to get a Raptor Ward right there. I do think Shaco's bot side. That's the thing. So, yeah. Just standing in front of the minions to make sure that Ari can't charm us. Basic trade patterns. Going to get wall here. Auto attack E. She dodged our Q really well played. And the wave is coming out to us slowly but surely. I think Shaco might be in the vicinity by the way she's stepping up like a maniac. Auto attack E. And just like that, we used our wall to actually get us in the position. Okay, Shaco's bot side. Good. In position to get the solo kill. But she really had... She had two places to choose. Either walk right or left. Typically, people are right-handed. And they, their minds are towards the right side. And uh, typically they will walk right. So I toss my cue in the right direction. Get it? Right direction? Right direction that hit her? <laughs> Guys, smash the like button right now. Oh, man. Jeez. Okay, so... At this point, we can either go Leandris or Everfrost against the melee assassins, the Fizz, Echoes. Uh, I, I like going Everfrost into lanes like even Mage, yeah, like Mage oriented lanes. Ari, Annie, Zarath. I like going that Leandris, extra burn damage and such. So in this game, we will opt for that good. <coughs> We'll opt for that good old oh man placed his all uh, work this thingy there now we're gonna slow push the wave back cute 
E auto attack for the electrocute proc. Hold up. Okay, and uh, Ari has to recall, yes. Um, I'm gonna crash her in here. <clears throat> and I'll, honestly, I can just look for another reset, get my mana back, and just have an item advantage on top of her. No, actually, we can stay here. We can stay here, take a tire plating, and take a better recall. Because she will get this whole wave, so... It's not a big enough lead to take a recall on. We can only buy, like, another amp. Seriously? No shot. No shot. That just misses? Are you serious, Riot Games? You brain dead company? Can't program anything? I need to get into Ignite range. I'm griefing. How did that Q not land? Are you serious? So tilting. I actually should have stayed in that circumstance too. I guess that was just a mechanical misplay, I guess. It's dog shit company. Holy. <sighs> I should want to uh, hold on to my refillable to actually trade with the Ari. Why she tilts me so much? She can't get the wave in, I don't think. Because she's uh, low on mana. <clears throat> yeah, she can only W. She can't Q. So that's good. We can hold the wave on our side. And she has to take an awkward recall where she loses a lot of minions. That's fine. We'll just thin out the wave. Play it slow. Make sure we E the cannon so we don't miss that. And I mean, it's a... It's a... It's a I mean, obviously worth for the Ari since I think it was like a 350 gold shutdown for her. Honestly, yeah, I'll hold the wave on my side. Did she? Did he use Q? I don't want to flash E. Ah, uh, flash Q. I don't want to risk it. She has R. Oh, nice movement. Really well played. I literally. Did that so my team can show up, but they're fighting Zerath. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna ulti the wave, shove her in. Save enough mana to actually fight her back. There we go. We get the solo onto her. Wait, was it a solo? Uh, Nice. Really well played. I took that trade. I knew it wasn't gonna be the best one for me, but... I thought my team was going to show up because they pinged. They're in this vicinity. But they went on Zerath, which is fine. Good job, Bard. Wave crashes. Bounces back out to me. Good stuff. We'll actually opt for the Magic Pen Boots for the burst. And the utility from the movement speed. And, uh, yeah, pretty decent start. Oh, Ari can use her W movement speed to gain movement speed to dodge my Q. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> but yeah at this point i mean we can just shove in the ari we do have better wave clear than her which is good and we just have to be very uh worrisome of we just have to be very worrisome of the of the shako but it appears shako yeah, Shago's just off the map. We don't know where he is. Damn. And Shako's bot side, so we can shove this in. Now we're going to look for the... Oh, wait. We're going to take a tower plating, then look for the reset. Shaco should be at Dragon, so I don't think we should worry too much about dying here. We saw him on the ward. 
And now we will look for another recall. It's funny. Everfrost this game, I feel like it wouldn't even be that bad. So that way I could lock down the Ari. I can Everfrost Q. With her being this slippery. But it is all good. I don't know if they can do that. I think oh, I'll be there, but yeah. Will be quite rough. Okay, they're chasing the Ari out. And I need my Ignite to make sure that we can get a solo onto the Ari. A lot of these fights are really close. Oh, see what I'm saying? She literally... She literally uses her W to get movement speed to dodge my Q, which is smart. And she used her Ignite there, which is uh, pretty huge for us. But against the mobile lanes, or a mobile people, like Zerath, like... Uh, <clears throat> Swain, we can really easily land the Q. I do want to pressure that Ari. R. 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 Someone. R. Someone. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Because of Bard R's. R. R. R! Bart, you have R! Okay. You know what? You know what? Okay. <laughs> okay. You don't need an R. How about that? We'll just leave it at that. You don't need an R. If you don't want to R, you don't need to R. But again, <sighs> it's all good. I'm gonna get our Leandri Spike build into that good old Sapphire Embrace. Slash Archangel staff for now. And uh, Ezreal's mid, so I guess I'll go bot. Ezreal should still be bot. But if he wants mid, I mean, I really can't stop him. So we will switch right now. And I don't have my egg form, so I have to be really careful. Okay, there's the Swain. Actually, gonna wall him in. And I think I shred him with my R. Outplayed. Close, though. I will say that. I'll shove him in one more wave before I look for the reset. It's kind of greed because Shaco should show up at any moment, but I think we got it. Yeah. Nice follow-up, Vi. Well played. <clears throat> it's because the reason why it was such a close fight, too, we didn't have our Ignite, and Swain has a lot of healing. <clears throat> if we had Ignite, we probably would have been able to burst him there. Especially with our level lead. So bot lane goes back bot. I guess I'll go back mid. And uh, we'll take it from there with the Ari. We see where Shaco is. So our jungle tracking. Not jungle tracking, but... There shouldn't be too much pressure on us right now. Especially if we ward. At a ledge where... You might want to gank. Dodge the Zerat stuff. There's two people mid. Jeez. Come on, Ezreal. Damn, they both took my kills. Cool. Just kidding. They just wanted to help, so I don't really mind. Trinimir is pushing top. We will shove in mid. I actually think... Ah, probably wouldn't have been kills, but yeah, that was definitely a 1v2.
God damn it. God damn it! This bard! Oh, You can take kills up until the 10 minute mark, but then I need it! I need items! Oh, Jesus Christ! So fucking brain dead. Jesus, this guy. Like, just W me for the assist. It's just logical. It's logical to me. Like, what will a bard with 10 kills do? I need my items! Anyways, uh, we can probably 1v1 the Ari, yes? That's enough. We got her. We have enough burst to just play for it. And we do have enough for Archangel stuff, so we do want to base and get it. I don't really want to fight for the dragon since uh, Trinomeria. Trinomeria is right there. He is right there. Yeah, that's a bad fight. Trinomir's too strong. And his ulti is up, guaranteed. <clears throat> we can't win the fight. We just have to give. There's the Trinomir chasing the Ezreal. See if I can land a Q. My bad. Yeah, it's just doomed. He still has R, that's the funny part. He still has R, so... Or, yeah, I'm pretty sure he does. I didn't see him use it for the Ezreal. And I can't even step up for the Ari since we don't know where her team is. Auto attack the ward. Now they have vision on us. Ah, uh, they would have saw me on the ward right there, so it's unfortunate. Is the burn enough? No? Damn. Left them at such low HPs, though. Guess I'll just try to look for them. Hey, you can say it's kind of greed, but we see where Trinomir is, and, uh, should be doable. I have egg form. Got him there. I expected to get both the Swain and Zerath, but it is what it is. And I have to recall since, again, that Trinomir 1v1... If he doesn't have R, it's very much so doable. If he does have R, it's going to be tough. We're really going to have to kite him out. I'm going to have to leave the base with like half HP since we want to protect the tower. Alrighty. Chaotic game indeed. Gonna build towards Zonius. That way they don't have any real way of uh, one shot bursting me. <clears throat> Especially with my egg form. Yep, yep, yep. Gonna look for the Q onto Zerath or Ari. We... God! Oh! Oh! <laughs> we stopped the Ari from Aring. With our W. And then we landed the double Q. <clears throat> Huge. And now we're going to path the... Okay, Trinomir's top side, so that's who we really have to worry about. I'm going to path towards Shago's blue, see if he's on it or is trying to... Uh... Damn, he's mid. Guys. <clears throat> no one's at our base. Now everyone's recalling, though. Yeah, someone really has to be topside. It's okay. We got the Trinomir shut down, which is huge. And ideally... I think... 
5v5, as long as it's in a good terrain, like within like close spaces, I can get a really good R off and then win the team fight for the team. In open spaces, it's, it's a little bit coin flip because they have people who outrange me like the Zerath who can damage me and then they have assassins who can gap close onto me. So that's going to be a little bit rough, but I do think we can win team fights. <clears throat> Well played, Vi. Well played. Nice hover. Now we shove this in. Shaco's mid. Trinity Mirror's top. Maybe we can even look for it here. You will pat top. Because there's everyone everyone's there right now. After he clears that, nah, he won't. So we'll just flank. We'll flank if needed. Nice. That's a really good R. Oh, wait. Actually, that's perfect for Swain. I'm trying to block them from coming in onto me. The burn isn't enough. And <clears throat> Ezreal recalled. Should have ulted and then Zonia's. That would have been better. I think I tried to E. Yeah, I shouldn't because I wasn't in range. Trying to mirror E through my wall. <laughs> Bummer. <clears throat> That's just. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Such a bummer. A thousand lives will I give for the prelude. I don't even think we win team fights anymore. Because I can tell Swain 2x's Azrael's damage due to just, you know. I guess what happened throughout the whole game, yes. I have this We're just they're gonna get they have more DPS from the Swain and Zerath. And then they have Trinomir. Compared to Fiora, who Trinomir probably 5x's her damage. With the Ari, I probably 3x her damage in team fights, but it's just not enough. We are all so we have to look for like unique picks to win this game. We can't just team fight. There's a flash, okay. I probably it's probably a yeah, smart flash. I would have just one shot. Q auto E. It would have been done. But uh, I think people might be coming mid for me. Oh, wow. Vi dies. That is him. Yeah, that is him. No way. It was too tanky to be his clone, but a uh, Trinomir split pushing top. We don't deal enough damage to the Swain. Oh, will we whoopie do? Oh, Ezreal's actually AFK. That's why. That's why. Uh, Ezreal was AFK this whole time. I'm trying to W him in. Ah, oh, guys, those 4v5. I really do think we could have won this game if Ezreal was here. And just like that, uh, that will be the game. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.